Welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. It's a new month, and NerdBlock's latest offering is hitting people's doorsteps right about now. So NerdBlock is a monthly service where you pay eh, between $25 and $30, depending on where you're located, and you get a blind box of items delivered to your doorstep every single month. There's a bunch of services out there, and this is definitely one of the nerdier ones. Uh, this is the last of the year, and also kind of the last of the old school boxes. Sad face. Uh, starting in January, NerdBlock's changing things up a little bit and is going to have a monthly theme. Uh, in January, they've announced today, actually, that the theme will be a galaxy far, far away, so expect some sci-fi-ish items. Uh, so this is kind of the last of the old school boxes, and let's open it up and check out what it has in store. So first thing is, because it comes from our friends up north in Canada, we kind of get a general sense of what's actually in the box due to the fact that they have to fill out custom forms. So it kind of ruins the fun a little bit, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so big thing this month is that they are going two shirts, like a double rainbow, they're giving us two shirts. One for us, one to give away. So uh, it's a double shirt to gift. So let's check out what we got. Shirt number one. Kind of a cool one, the year of Luigi, a Mario-ish t-shirt. I actually probably would wear that one. It's kind of a cool t-shirt. And then, A butter beer t-shirt for your Harry Potter friends out there. Not really a Harry Potter fan, so this doesn't really apply to me or you know is cool to me. But at the same time, I got a lot of friends who love Harry Potter. Yes, even people my age enjoy Harry Potter. Um, so I'm sure I can either find someone to give this to, or give it away some other ways. All right, so let's see what else we got. Now this is much more up my alley. I was a Gremlins fan, and to get my only, my own Mogwai, my own Gizmo, it's kind of awesome. Um, a nice little plush Gremlin, the ears are nice and solid, the body is nice and plush though. Um, this is pretty sweet, so this is a, a NECA figure, National um, Entertainment Collectible Association I believe is the end of it. Um, they do a whole bunch of really cool items uh, for geeks out there. This, this is kind of cool, I'm actually really, really digging this. All right, we got a Tetris notebook from Peladone Products. I'm going with this is just like a journal. Well, let's find out. Let's open it up and see. That's kind of cool. So we got the ends. Nice little item, actually kind of nice and solid. For gamers out there, maybe it's a good way to keep some notes. Maybe I'll throw it in and uh, use it for some of my uh, games out there to see what works and to keep notes as to what's going on and how things are. No, screw it. We're not going to put it back in the bag because don't really need to. Up next, Creo figures. I love my Creos. Got a nice shelf filled with Transformer Creos and also some of the Halo figures from Mega Bloks and. Uh, some of the old school Marvel figures from uh, from Mega Bloks and Creo that I don't think you really can get anymore. So here we have Creo Army Builder pack for the Dungeons and Dragons line. Um, I'm not super into D and D, but I'm kind of getting into it from like Attack Wing and some various other things. Um, so this kind of a cool item. I think I'm, I think this will definitely open it up and, and go on my shelf. So let's actually crack it open and show off what you get with it. So Creos are great in that they work with dungeon building sets. So you get this card. It looks like I've got Kroll. I, I'm not familiar well enough with D&D to tell you what the hell it is. But what's nice is it actually gives you some stats on there from Wizards of the Coast. From Hasbro, D&D, 
Uh, so looks like it's a figure you could actually use in your D&D games, which actually is really, really cool. Wizards of the Coast is very smart about that sort of stuff, to have another way to pick up like figures, especially like cheap figures, to go play in D&D with. I give some mad props on that. It's very, very intelligent on their part. Um, crack open the scissor again, because I'm not going to be able to open this. want to kind of need the instructions for because I don't know really what it's supposed to look like so that kind of makes things a bit difficult uh, oh yeah no so this is pretty simple I'm an idiot head shoulders knees and toes knees and toes got head got hand got some wings Claws for it to have, and then a base for you to put it on. There we go. I'm sure that was so exciting for you to watch. Ah! All right, and finally for the month, uh, they had last month they had a possible get an autograph from uh, from the man himself, a little Ash. Bruce Campbell. Well, this month you can get one of two autographs. It was a guaranteed thing. Uh, you could either get Val Kilmer or Wicket himself, Warwick Davis. Both of Willow fame, so if you're like a fan of Willow, you're probably going to dig this. Um, I'm going to go and guess that this is Val Kilmer's because I really don't know what either of their signatures are supposed to look like. We're going to go with Val Kilmer, though. So that's the box. Um... Yes, that looks like Val Kilmer. According to this, it gives you certificate and what they're supposed to look like. So we've got two t-shirts. Uh, the Butterbeer is the main one, and then I guess the second one could be random. Uh, we've got the Tetris Notebook, the Dungeons & Dragons Creo figure, and the Gizmo. Gizmo. Uh, overall, it's a cool, cool box. Uh, I mean, I'm a fan of... Gremlins, so of course I love the gizmo fig, you know, stuffed figure, toy, whatever. Uh, of course the D&D Creo is going to go on my shelf with the rest of my Creo. Um, but, you know, you can never say bad things about autograph. You get two t-shirts, all for less than 30 bucks. Uh, I'm thinking it's worth it. I mean, the, the t-shirts alone are probably 10, 15 bucks a piece. So, you know, add those, throw the figures in. You made your money this month. It's a, it's a nice, solid box. It's a great way to end the year. Um, Nerblock, well done. Again, it's a, it's a solid ending for uh, for a interesting year of Nerblock for us. Um, so again, next month they're going to start off their theme boxes. Their theme is going to be a galaxy far, far away. So you've got a bit of time to sign up and get in on that. Uh, of course, we're going to be here back next month to check out what that looks like and how Nerdblock's doing in their whole new direction. The all new, all crazy Nerdblock. Um, as always, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, of course here on YouTube, Pinterest, wherever. All at Graphic Policy. We keep it nice and consistent. Until next time, thanks for watching. Keep it geeky.